right, so we did Halloween Horror Nights last night, the RIP tour. I was not wearing a Jurassic Park shirt, so if you see any other video footage of me, it's just we were so tired last night, there was no chance I was going to be able to do a video after that. So people are getting ready for the event tonight. This is our last evening in Florida, um, hopefully not forever. But we did the event last night, we did the RIP tour, the private one, with a four-year-old. We got some stairs, but if you pan down, you'll see them. Yes, hello. Did you go in the Ghostbusters house? <laughs> of course. Just like a little car and big feet, big feet. So that's basically what happened last night, it was just him just being randomly a kid. Um, fortunately, of my six kids, two of them just don't have any fear of that kind of thing. So he went through the park, scare zones and all. He got one little reaction to a chainsaw guy who really pushed it because he couldn't believe this kid was not scared of him. Aside from that, he's given fist bumps and asking for sanitizer. So, do I recommend that you do Halloween Horror Night to a little kid? Depends on your child. Looks like things are kind of changing. We saw other families there, so that's kind of the tone of this video is to let you know that if you are a family and you are a family that are horror fans and your kids genuinely aren't scared of that type of thing, you can give it a try. Don't take them in the houses. He did do the Ghostbuster house, but aside from that, he just stayed with the scare zones. We loved the houses this year. We felt like a lot of them were just really on par with each other, whereas last year was a little bit more variable. The Stranger Things house was definitely amazing. They stepped it up, they included season three, it's definitely worth it. Um, Ghostbusters house, Killer Clowns, The Us house. I wasn't a big fan of that movie, but the house was great. So, um, we didn't love the pizza fries, the drinks were different this year. They, a lot of them had orange stuff in it and I'm allergic to oranges, so I didn't get to try them. Um, we did have a Stranger Things cupcake. Uh, so we split it between the three of us, and of course the R.I.P. tour comes with some food and stuff, so we tried some snacks. Um, what did you think? I'll try to turn this around. I really enjoyed it. I thought the scare zones were really good this year. They were good last year, but they were really good this year. That Rob Zombie one, eh? Yeah, the houses were, were lovely. Like you said, they were a little more level as far as all of them were pretty good. Last year was a little up and down. I really liked that they had some original ideas that were pretty cool this year. And the big addition this year was the fountain show, which yes. was fantastic. It highlighted four of the houses, Killer Clowns, Ghostbusters, Stranger Things, and the Monsters. And it was amazing. I mean, the, the, the music, the video, the fountain light action was just, that was an amazing addition to Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, something that we've heard that they're probably going to keep next year since it's got such a positive reaction. That was probably one of the highlights of the night. And as always, you know, getting to go on the rides in a VIP way is really cool when you do the, the private RIP tour. So definitely recommend that as well. Did you like any of the stuff last night? Did you like horror, Halloween Horror Nights? No. Really? I did. You did? Did you like the killer clowns? Yeah, like... Did you take a bunch of silly pictures? A girl with a pony with a zombie Yeah, the, din the zombie girl tried to make you her dinner. And then what did you do? Did you laugh at her? Did you tell her, boo? Yeah, and then she just... She just said, let's warm kid. <laughs> what's wrong, kid? Exactly. You weren't scared of nothing. So, we definitely recommend the RIP tour, the private one. If you can't, at least the RIP group tour, do at least five houses. I think five houses this year would have been enough for me. It, it actually was. I skipped three houses. Josh did all of them. Um, but, yeah, we had a great time, even as a family. So, do I think this is going to become a family event anytime soon? No. But do I think that if your child is capable of enjoying that type of thing and not screaming and disturbing it for others why the heck not we saw literally i saw a woman walk in with like a two-year-old she had like a six and an eight-year-old on her hip her husband was there there were old people i mean i got stuck in the us house behind a walker 
a motorized scooter where the woman could not figure out how the maze worked, and her husband who was terrified. So <laughs> I was trapped in the scariest room of the whole night because I had people in front of me that couldn't actually get out of the maze. <laughs> so it's for everyone is what I'm saying, and um, I'm excited by that. You know, it's not it's not for horror snobs. It's not for a certain demographic. It's for everybody. So that's just our review. See you next year.